Okay, so I want to talk about older generation and newer or more modern generation UV5Rs and the differences between those. Um, you can see if you look closely, um, this is the first dead giveaway. The font on the keypad. See the differences there? The older one, oops, sorry about that. The older one is thicker and smaller, especially the numbers. And um, the uh, pound sign and star sign for DTMF. Um, the actual Baofeng logo is slightly different. The UV5R, <coughs> UV5R sticker fell off on the older one. Um, another big giveaway is the signal strength or RSSI or S meter. Um, on the older versions, it's a, a an all or nothing affair. So right now we've got some propagation, but you'll notice that, here we go, this is the newer version. Weak signal. And over. Wind. Winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts to 20 knots. Okay, that's weak. One, today and tonight. At this time. Forecast. Chesapeake Bay from Wingo Point to New Point, Comfort, Virginia. Small craft in. Sunday evening. Alright, so for a weaker signal, it's going to give you an actual partial indication there, which This is an intermediate variant. Right, see how the um, S meter there we will actually give you a reading uh, when it's not a full scale signal. Again, this is an intermediate variant. So we'll go back to the old one, the older one, and this is one of the first UV5Rs I purchased. It just shows a full scale reading. As long as there's a signal. See that? It's either full scale. The current time or it's is 9:35 a.m. Eastern Daylight. Northeast wind at five miles an hour. This is one of the biggest telltale signs of an older generation. UV5R um, is the S meter. It's an all or nothing thing. It's basically the same as the LED, receive LED. So that's one aspect. Um, the other aspect is the uh, receive um, the receiver. Look, I open up the squelch and it says it's a full scale signal no matter where I tune, even though I know there's no signal there.
is actually 130 to 177 and 400 to 522 megahertz. Now let's go back to the more recent version. And again, this is not the current version. Lows in the this upper is a 20s. more recent variant. Well, it's like that. One thirty seven to one seventy four. One hundred to five twelve. Now I've changed this in the programming. Okay. Look at the uh, S move. It's actually functioning as an S move. Sunday into Sunday night. This is another, another thing that identifies this as an intermediate variant. Um, is when the spots is open. Let's do it on the local station. Metro area is code level green, which is good. Notice how if I open the spots, the S meter goes away. So we've got spots level one right now. Time is 9, 39 a.m. Eastern daylight time. So the modern variant, or the, the most modern variant, has resolved that issue. East North Carolina, um, Central Virginia, oh. East Central Virginia, so this Eastern is what Virginia, I would call a second or third generation U5R. And, um, this is what I would call a first generation UV5R. This one's pretty old. You can tell it's a little bit more beat up, but it's got the telltale different font on the keypad. It's also got the um, extended frequency coverage, and yes, it does transmit down to 130. There are uh, other ones that I've seen that are presumably also first generation that go down to 133 and up to 176 versus up to one, up to 177. Same with uh, UHF, instead of going up to 520, they go up to 521 instead of 522. So um i would call this a a first generation um variant and then the one that i just showed you is probably a third generation or um maybe a 2.5 so this has to do with the different firmware that these things are flashed with and you can do some stuff to resolve those issues using software like chirp for example you can change the frequency coverage um transmit and receive coverage for VHF, UHF. You can turn off VHF, you can turn off UHF using CHIRP. Now, just for fun, Sunday 